Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are making a game called Paper Plane. So let's get started. But first, for the beginners, let's give some introduction about the Scratch. Okay, so this is our code area. This is our code blocks. This is our stage. This is our sprite. And this is our sprite area. So in the first step, let's delete this sprite. After that, we will upload our own sprites. I will give you the links in the description. You can also use it for yourself. Okay, we will use clouds. Actually, remember, there is no backdrops in this project. Okay, we will only use sprites. So this cloud sprite has a lot of costumes. Okay, so the first code is simple. Let's go to events block. When the flag has been clicked, let's zoom in. Okay, when the flag has been clicked, after that, go to motion block. We will use zero coordination which is the setter form after that go to looks block and we will use switch costume to one after that go to control block we will use forever and then again go to looks block and we will use next costume let's see that's great and now let's use our second sprite which will be our paper plane which will be our player Okay, it's a lot bigger, so let's decrease its size to desirable, which is 50. Okay, let's put it right here. So the code is simple. It will be moving up and down vertically, but not horizontally, and the horizontal line will be fixed. So for that, go to events block. When the flag has been clicked, after that, go to looks block, and we will use show, and then go to front layer. After that, go to control block. You will use forever go to motion block and we will use set x to 164 which is this coordination we will use change y by this okay after that go to operators block we will use the multiplication code we will use the negative code go to sensing block and we will use mouse y right here okay after that go to motion block and scroll down a bit okay we will use y position right here and we will put right here for example 0 0.08 after that we will use point in 90 direction and then go to operators block we will use the addition code after that we will use the division one and let's add the last one which will be a negative simply make a duplicate and put this one right here and again make a duplicate right here and put it after that let's put here 90 which will be point in 90 direction okay that's beautiful and simply the last step will be 8 and let's see the overall results okay so it goes very smoothly that's beautiful so for completing this sprite we will add some background sound so for that go to sound area and we will use upload sound after that we will use background sound okay then go to code area and then go to events block so when the flag has been clicked after that go to control block we will use forever and then go to sound block and we will use play sound background until done let's see that's great so in the further step we will use our next sprite which will be our star okay it's a lot bigger so let's decrease its size to 100 that's more like it so the first step for the star will be it will spawn from right here and go towards the plane so for that go to control block we will use when i start as a clone after that go to looks block and we will use it will show so whenever it start cloning it will show after that go to motion block we will use point in 90 direction and then again go to looks block we will use set size to 100 and then go to control block we will use repeat until after that go to operators block and we will use this one so the motion of the star is in x position so for that go to motion block scroll down a bit okay we will use x position let's put right here our desired location which will be 250 and now it will need some speed so for that change x by minus 5 Let's see some results.
that's great and now go to control block we will use if then after that go to operators block we will use again the same code and simply make a duplicate and put this one right here and let's write here 240 negative form after that go to looks block and we will use hide so this code means whenever the star goes to this location it will hide okay so let's go further so in the next step whenever the star touches the plane it will hide so for that go to control block we will use if then okay after that go to sensing block we will use touching what the paper plane so whenever it touches the paper plane it will hide and make a sound so for the sound go to sound area and we will upload a sound like collect okay and we will use hide and then go to sound block we will use this code and after all of this it should delete this clone so for that go to control block and we will use delete this clone so for completing this step we will need the second code which will be go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to looks block we will use hide and it will go to front layer after that go to control block we will use forever and we will use some weight and it should make a clone of himself so for that we will use create clone of myself after that go to motion block we will use some coordination like for example 267 so 267 is actually the coordination of this location okay after that go to operators block we will use pick random code let's write for example 150 towards negative 150 and now let's add our own variable which will be our score and let's hide it right here okay and we will use set score to zero right here when it touches the paper plane it will change some score so we will put it right here so now this sprite is completed so for this project we will use a unique type of score which is upload sprite we will use some numbers let's decrease it size to 50 and put it right here so the code will be whenever the paper plane collects some stars it will change its numbers so for that go to control block and then we will use when our start is a clone after that go to looks block and scroll down a bit okay we will use go to front layer after that it will show so for making this code we will need another variable which will be called clone so it is appearing right here so let's hide it and then go to control block we will use forever and we will use if then after that go to operators block we will use this code after that we will use this one then go to looks block we will use costume but name and for this go to operators block we will use letter of right here after that go to variables block we will use clone right here and score will be right here let's zoom out a bit okay and then again go to looks block we will use switch costume to and simply make a duplicate and put it right here after that we will use change size by like for example 20 and simply make a duplicate and put it right here after that go to operators we will use multiplication code and we will use negative code here we will write 0 0.3 and right here we will use 50 and for the last step go to looks block we will use size right here so for working this code we will need its second part which will be go to events block when the flag has been clicked okay after that go to looks block we will use hide after that go to variables block use set clone to for example one and then we will use some coordination so for that we will use this location so for that go to motion block we will use this coordination okay so whenever the flag has been clicked it will appear right here then go to control block we will use repeat 10 after that we will scroll down and we will use create clone of myself 
and then go to variables block we will use change clone by one after that go to motion block we will use change x by but we will use 30 let's see some results that's great so now it is working and now let's add some enemies so for that we will use this one simply go to costumes and we will upload its other parts which is this one after that go to code area so it's a lot bigger so let's decrease its size to 50 as it will be same as the paper plane so the code for the enemy is much similar towards the star so simply we will drag this one towards here and this one also then go to this sprite zoom out a bit and we will arrange this one and simply delete this part so the difference will be whenever the enemy touches our plan it will game over so for that go to control block we will use if then after that go to sensing block we will use if it touches what paper plan and simply delete this block and now go to events block and we will use some broadcast message like for example game over and the second difference is it has some costumes so for that go to looks block we will use next costume and simply change the weight like two seconds that's great and now let's add our game over sprite which is this one simply rearrange its location and we will use 120 of its size after that arrange it manually okay that's better so the code will be go to events block when i receive game over then go to looks block we will use go to front layer after that we will use show and we will use this coordinations for that go to motion block and we will use coordinations and i want right here the resultant score and then go to variables block we will use show variable score and the game should stop so for that go to control block we will use stop all then go to events block we will use when the flag has been clicked then again go to variables block we will hide the score and then go to looks block and we will use again the hide so whenever the flag has been clicked the score will hide and whenever the game over repeat right here it will show and the last but not least game over sound so for that go to sound area we will upload enemy hit like game over sound simply go to code area and then go to events block when i receive game over it should make a sound so for that go to sound block we will use this sound let's see the overall results that's great so now the game is completed i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any kind of problem or question please comment down below have a nice day and goodbye.